you're gonna want some glasses. Stuff's gonna fly everywhere. Yeah. Whew, that's like an explosion. You just want to knock the kind of thicker chunks off. You're not going to get all of it off the wall. That's what our grinder is going to be for uh, in the next step. If, you're, if your wall is already like in good shape and it's just got the crack and you don't plan on doing anything else to it, don't beat it with a hammer for 10 minutes. Um, Either just leave this stuff here or take your angle grinder directly to it and knock it off. I'm just trying to make my next job a little easier, um, but you do need to knock, knock the ports off with a hammer. So to flatten down all of the epoxy that we just applied to the wall, you'll need an angle grinder. There's almost no way to shave that stuff down it's really tough. Its whole goal is to strengthen concrete. So doing it with your hands is going to be tough. Get an angle grinder. Uh, get a paint stripping disc. And get a shroud. And you can find all this stuff, you know, from Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. All that stuff. Make sure your shroud has a little port here to hook your shop back into because grinding off epoxy and other stuff with an angle grinder produces a ton of dust. Stuff will get everywhere, right? It gets everywhere anyway, even with the shop back attached. So get one of these. It's This was like $24. So not free, but not expensive either. All right. It has these little rings that allow you to attach it to grinders of different sizes. I've got a, this is a four and a half inch grinder. Um, I think, you know, it's battery powered, so. One. down the little button on the back that locks the spindle. So it comes with this little adapter and the adapter is for attaching to your shop vac hose. I got some duct tape to help it stay in there a little better because as I've been doing some other kinds of grinding uh, if I get, if I get a little excitable and moving, moving the grinder around quickly, it'll fall out and then I'm still grinding and then crap flies everywhere. So, uh, just duct tape it. All right. Just need a battery and we are, we're ready to do some grinding.
My main goal was to smooth this down and get a lot of it off so that I can now uh, plaster and paint over it. So, looks like this now. You know, I wore down my disc quite a bit um, just doing that one section, just because epoxy is so is so hard. When you're picking out a, one of these paint stripper, these grinding paint stripping discs, by the way, uh, what I found is that they're all basically the same. I've tried brand name ones. I've tried like Ultra Max Extra Strength discs or whatever. Uh, they're all basically the same. So I just get the cheapest ones. I think we're done here. I think we're ready to paint.